Hi, I'm Fishy Folks, and today another unboxing. This is from Mile High Plecos. I wonder what it is. Could it be a flower horn in this box? Perhaps it's another Oscar or a Severum or Guppies, or maybe I got Platies from Mile High Plecos. What do you think it is? Let's open it and find out. Got my man knife. Always gotta be careful when you open these boxes because you don't really know where the bag is. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna ruin the structural integrity of the bag before you're ready. This is taped quite well. Uh, Mike over at Mile High Plecos. Never actually met him in person, but we've spoken many times via the internet. And of course, uh, he's commented on my videos. And uh, I know he's friends with Priscilla. Oh, a Mile High Pleco sticker, which I gotta be honest, is pretty damn cool. I am definitely gonna put this on a tank. I like this. It's the Colorado flag in the shape of a Pleco. Pretty cool. All right, in this box we have some Styro. That's pretty cool. And we have the uh, batting that I use and lots of tiny little bags. Oh boy. Now these are supposed to be super red plecos, but this one doesn't look red at all. Let me make sure. Is that super reds? I like these little tiny bags. They look like long fin props green dragons but I just confirmed anyway there is a poop ton of little bags in here let's check it out first thing we're gonna do knife safety 101 we're gonna close the knife because we don't want to cut our fingers off all right there's three. Ah, there are the super reds little tiny baby super reds and some pretty cool other big ones I'm thinking those are green dragons. Look at how cute and widow. Do you see how cute and widow they are? Make sure, oh, there's another one. This is packed really well, I gotta bounce. Oh, what? Oh, assassins or nearite snails? I gotta check those out. So we got some snails, we got some super reds. I think we got some green dragons and that's it. This box I'm gonna save for winter and reuse. Because uh, I like to recycle. As you saw in the video I released today, Wednesday, I recycle. <coughs> Some dust. Repurposed. Alright, so. We got some snails. We got some super reds. And we have some of these fantastic other plecos. I don't know if you can see them. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now I gotta figure out where to put them. And you know, I need more wood. Got wood? I need some wood. Can't get wood. I mean, I can get wood. I just don't have wood. Hope you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. All right, folks, I'm gonna figure out what to do with these bad boys and uh, acclimatize them, and I'll be right back. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, back for, I think I wanna be out of frame. Stand by. Move the camera to film something else. Oh, much better. Let's try this again, shall we? All right, fishy folks, we're going to plop and drop the super reds and the assassin snails and the special, what I thought were green dragon plecos, but they're not. They're something even more special. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna plop and drop those. So let's do the green dragons. Uh, Mike from Mile High Plecos. You can find him on uh, Facebook, Mile High Plecos. Uh, put a little guppy grass in there and some baby red, super reds. He told me they were small. He was gonna ship them about a month ago, but he said they're, they're just too small, so he wanted them to grow. And so, boom, here they are. He was moving, it's a long story. Anyway, great guy to deal with, pretty funny. He's on a lot of the streams, you probably see him. Let's, let's get to the plop and drop. I'm gonna cut through both bags with my man knife. At least I think I'm going to. That's one bag. Oh, he he taped the bottom so they don't 
Um, you know, there's no crease for them to go in. That's pretty nice. I think he did. Is that what he did? Yeah, that's what he did. I punctured that, but we're gonna de-rubber bandify them. At least we're gonna try to de-rubber bandify them. Nope. We're gonna cut it. Man knife. Boom! Now these guys are little and red, so gotta make sure we get them all. That's one. Let's see if I can do this in one shot this time. Yep. Just gotta be a man with the man knife. Come on, little guy. Come on, I don't wanna crush you and make you die. Come on! Get out of there! Uh-oh. Man down. Stand by. You can do it! Drop to safety, bro! Nope. Got him. Last bag. We're gonna do it quickly. Puncture both bags, open them up, pour them out. Uh-oh. One stuck in the crease. Oh, still in there. Get out of there, you bugger. Wow, I sound like an old man. I am an old man. All right, got them all. Gonna plop them in the tank. Drop them in the tank, plop them in here. <sighs> Where did I say I was gonna put them? Here? Yeah, here. I hope. They're so cute. Got all those little buggers. None in the bucket. All right, clean up the bags. Let's get the snails. So he gifted me some assassin snails. Looks like, I don't know, maybe 10. Besides snails, what do you feed assassin snails? Same thing as regular snails? Do they require any special water? I don't know anything about them. I'm plopping and dropping, even though you probably don't have to. Because that's what I do. I plop and drop. I think there's one stuck in there. Great job packing. I like these little bags. Alright, fishy folks. Now, that's what you've been waiting for. So I ordered Super Reds, he sent me Super Reds, no problem, great deal on those. And he sent me the snails. I'm gonna take my man knife, put it over here for now. And he sent me three or four spectacular specimens of fantastic plecoisms. Let's go check it out, stand by. Three. Beautiful, long, thin, chocolate plecos. Look at them. Can't see them, they're in the bag. I'm gonna plop and drop these bad boys and then show you after they acclimatize.
All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna clean up here and then show you what they look like in the tank. So, uh, you know, just hang out. Stand by, hang out, stand by. Do whatever you want. All right, fishy folks, here are the little tiny super reds. They are really little and tiny. There's one, and there's one, and there's one on the glass. Boop. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty tiny. I gotta fatten these guys up. Like I said, I'm gonna let let them sit overnight, and uh, tomorrow we'll feed some green beans for these guys to feed. Uh, I also got some assassin snails from Mike over at Mile High Plecos on Facebook. Check them out. They are in a tank down here. I'm probably going to dig them out and uh, drop some in some of my L144 tank to take care of those big old snails in there. But uh, I probably won't do that till I get back from Japan because I don't want anything to happen while I'm gone. And uh, finally, we have to look at the, the gift that hopefully we'll keep on giving that I am really excited about. And it's not this cool betta fish right here that's not focusing. There we go. It is the spectacular long fin uh, chocolate plecos. Hopefully I have at least one boy out of the trio. We're going to fatten these guys up, drop some caves in there, and see if we can't get some action happening out of these guys. Some boom, chicka, boom, boom, if you know what I'm saying, fishy folks. I hope you do, because I don't want to have to explain it. But it goes a little something like, ee, 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 and then we have babies. That's how it works, people. If you're young and you don't understand my jokes, I'm sorry. Ask your mom. No, no, ask your mom. Ask your dad. Maybe ask your dad, if he's cool. All right, fishy folks, that's it for today. Uh, I'm pretty excited with my new pickups. When you're watching this video, I'll probably be in Japan, so uh, you can you can message me on Facebook or email me. I will definitely answer if you have any questions. I'm just filming the spectacular red mosaic Dumbleware plecos because they look great, and uh, hoping for some babies soon. So everyone have a great day. Don't forget to check out Michael'sFishRoom.com for some pretty cool guppies and soon some pretty cool plecos. Hey guys, do me a favor. 